Hey, what is up guys, Klausnex here, and I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know that I'm gonna be competing again in Strongman this August. I don't know how many more Strongman competitions there's gonna be until the winter, so I really wanna take advantage of the potential experience that you can get from a competition. And before I say anything else, I just wanna thank anybody watching this who's shown support to me uh, with the Strongman competitions and in the training and people who've been asking me how my training's going, asking me how the competition went. I really appreciate that. And uh, everyone who shows support to me in my life, I just want you to know that I really appreciate you and know that all the words that you say to me I receive. Sometimes just the slightest comment can really make my day. So I just wanted to thank you guys. So the competition is August 5th, which gives me roughly four weeks of full training before that happens. I'm from Manitoba and this is called the Strongman Manitoba Classic. So I think it's probably going to be a bigger deal than the last one. It's definitely not a first timers only. Some of the numbers in this competition actually look pretty high and I'm kind of going into this event knowing that I'm going to do badly. I know that I'm going to suck. Like I, I kind of felt fairly confident going into the last one, but this one is like, I'm going in and I kind of know that I'm not going to place anywhere good. I know that I don't really have a chance of doing well. I'm purely going for the experience. The amount of experience that first competition brought me was so awesome. It gave me such a good perspective as to where I am in my training and like where I should be taking it in the future that passing up on another potential competition just because I'm not going to do well isn't really a reason for me. So in this competition, there's going to be men's and women's as usual, but this one actually has a weight class, but the cutoff for lightweight and heavyweight is my weight, is my where my weight likes to hang, which is 230. So all I have to do is maintain for the next month and maybe a few days before the competition really watch what I'm eating and maybe turn up the cardio a bit this month. So it shouldn't be that hard to make the men's lightweight class. So the first event's going to be a three ton truck pull. Now I've pulled the truck before. I, I'm, I think it was maybe three tons. I don't really know. There's no way to really know. Like you don't train for three tons or four tons. You just try and pull the heaviest thing you can find on wheels. Next is a press medley, which means that there's going to be a bunch of different press variations. So the first one's going to be a circus dumbbell. The second is going to be a sandbag, which is going to be a really uneasy press. Third is going to be a keg, same thing. That's going to be a really awkward press and probably the cutoff for my overhead press strength. I don't even think that I'm going to touch the, the, the last two presses, which is going to be an axle press and then a log press. Honestly, I'd just be happy to make it past the first press. The next event is going to be a car deadlift for reps. So it's going to be a deadlift, but the handles are going to kind of be at your side and you're going to be pressing up with the car behind you. I have never done this before. I have no idea. I asked kind of, you know, what the weight's roughly going to be. There's no way to know because it's a freaking car. So it's probably going to be between four and 500 pounds, I think. The second last event and the only event that I'm really feeling like I could do okay in is the farmer walk and the keg carry. So same as the last event, except instead of a yoke, it's going to be a keg. I'm pretty sure that I'm strong enough for both of those things. I've never tried the farmers at 250. I'm actually going to do that tomorrow and we'll see how it goes. But, uh, you know, after that first competition and I like dropped them two feet from the end, the next strongman workout I did, I carried those things a hundred feet, which is double what the event was. I didn't have a single problem at all with my grip. I didn't wobble like I did in the competition. So I honestly think it was just my nerves and my mind and my body not really working together for why I dropped it because I had the grip strength. I had the speed skill, so I'm gonna chalk that one up to nerves. And the last event's gonna be field stone loading. So it's different than atlas stones. The atlas stones are these big round concrete balls, but field stones are literally stones that you find in fields. And then people who host events like weigh out these like random ass shaped stones and you know, mark the weight and then put them in an order from lightest to heaviest and then you just have to pick them up and put them on a shelf. I have no idea how much these stones are gonna weigh. I just know the lightest stone and the heaviest stone. Do I think I'm gonna crush this competition? No, probably not. And I'm not even hoping to like place anywhere. I don't have any hopes. I just, I literally wanna go there. And I just don't wanna be able to not do anything. I'd like to be able to like somewhat do the things, but I mostly am just looking for the experience that it's gonna bring because life is about going out there and trying those things. Even if you know that you're gonna fail, even if you know that it's, it might not be worth it or you know, the risks are too high. You might look like a fool. That's what growing as a person is all about. You have to take these risks and take advantage of these opportunities, even if they're coming to you before you're ready for them. 
I'm saying this to you as the people watching, but I'm also trying to convince myself of this. So if I get crushed to death by something at this competition, you can go back to this video and disregard that advice. Another cool thing about uh, this competition is that Mark Henry's gonna be there. He's one of the strongest men in the world, so it would be cool to meet him and maybe see him display some of his strength. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you like this video and you want more trading updates from me up until the competition. Stay tuned for more videos. Lost next out.